okay, Sweet Tea definitely needs to stay on this show. I'm just trying to figure out if that was creative editing or was Sweet Tea drunk off of that swamp water punch? Hey, what's up and hello, this is the Chris Nicole giving you my views on life, love, and the world of entertainment through my eyes. And this is my review on Mary to Medicine, season 10, episode 12, Hilton Head, here we come. So they're headed to South Carolina, Toya Eugene, Sweet Tea, Dr. G, Alicia, and her husband, Kima, they meet at Simone and Cecil's house, and we find out that Heavenly tells them at the last minute that she's not going because she can't be a pit bull if her idol Dr. Jackie isn't going to the trip as well. But the way that she says it is if Curtis isn't going, Curtis don't feel comfortable, then I'm not going. You know, very classy of you, Heavenly, to tell someone at the last minute and they have to call you that you're not coming to the couple's trip. Very classy. So at that point, Simone calls Jackie and Jackie tells Simone they're not coming because Curtis doesn't want to open that door. And Toya is like, the door is closed. Jackie begins to cry, which proves what I said before. Jackie, it's really about Jackie's feelings, not Curtis. And I don't even know if it's about the fact that she is still hurt from the cheating. I think that she is such a control freak and is so protective over her brand that includes her personal life. Everything needs to look perfect when it comes to her. I think she doesn't want to be embarrassed. That's just what it is if someone brings it up, which is interesting because she has no problem embarrassing other people. Interesting, right? So at that point, Toya was doing too much, I will say that, because she was like, do you want us to call him Jackie? Fellas, call Curtis. And those men was like, hell no, we don't get involved in other people's marriages. We on some man tip. Whatever they decide is whatever they decide. So at that point, Simone says that she feels like she is snatching the bandage off of an old wound. And my whole thing is if the wound has healed, you're not really, it shouldn't be an issue. I just, again, I think this is more so about Jackie wanting to control everything and she doesn't want to be embarrassed. She doesn't even want people to bring it up. Now, with that being said, they get on the bus and child, they start talking about rectums and that's a hard pass for me. So we're going to move on. But Toya does mention on the bus that Heavily is not coming because Curtis and Jackie are not going. It's some high school stuff. And I would actually have to agree. Like just because Jackie is not going doesn't mean that you can't participate and Toya says in her confessional, as well as Eugene, that the only person who has brought up the infidelity issues when it comes to Jackie and Curtis was the pit bull Heavenly. She's the only one who's brought it up in the past seven years. So, I mean, Toya made a valid point. So next we find out Alicia, she don't get um oral freaky tales from her husband because he said it's taboo in his culture. Child, no wonder she screams at him and tells him he ain't a man. She got a lot of tension build up. A lot. Really? Because it's taboo in your culture? And Phaedra freaky ass had to make sure she was like, not the one I know. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. Kima seems like he a control freak also. I wonder though, I wonder if he's all about receiving that 
and not giving it. I wonder, I really do. So all of a sudden they get to Hilton Head and I think this whole thing for this episode was about gender roles and Alicia is saying how like Phaedra, I guess, understands or respect gender roles. And I'm trying to figure out how, because this is the same woman who married Apollo. Who do you think really wore the pants in that relationship when it came to Phaedra and Apollo? Gender roles, my ass. Now, moving on. So while the couples are talking, Jackie and Heavenly, they come in making a grand entrance, of course. They had to sit up there and make sure that they were the last ones to come in. And, of course, Heavenly is Jackie's mouthpiece, all right? And she's talking. Jackie's not saying anything. And Toya is like, look, you guys not traveling with us and not coming on this trip with us left a bad taste in our mouths. And so at that point, Jackie... Toya pretty much says, okay, look, like that situation is done. And so Jackie was like, well, it can continue to be done. It it continue like we don't need to talk about it. Baby, that's when Sweet T came in and said, well, uh, I'm sorry, but y'all brought up quads BS when it came to my relationship. And maybe this time around, you need to be in the hot seat. So Jackie, typical Jackie says, I'm in the hot seat when I walk into my office in the OR. When I see a woman diagnosed with breast cancer, I'm in the hot seat when I help a woman deliver a baby I couldn't have. I'm always in the hot seat, so bring it. And Phaedra's like, preach, go on, girl, preach. And I'm like, that's your comeback, Jackie. See, this is why people have so many issues with you, because to me, Jackie's response was, I'm a doctor. I'm up here and you're down here. You know, the same way that she actually treated Heavenly when she first came on the show because she wanted to make sure to let Heavenly know that she's a real doctor. She deals with hearts, not teeth. Remember when she did that to Heavenly? So she's real quick to put her credentials in people's faces because it seems to me that's all she has, all right? But Sweet T was like, okay, Heffa. Okay, I'll bring it. You want me to bring it? I will bring it. So at that point, Dr. G even says, you know, it's all fun and games until it happens to you, which is true. Then, child, Simone and Heavenly get into it. And baby, F-bombs and bitch this and bitch that was thrown all over the place. You would have never known that those two are actually two educated women doctors at that they were so loud and so ignorant their rich white neighbors literally was videotaping them now they could have been videotaping them because they also saw the cameras but apparently let's see so tell her they already got complaints and i said i tell you you can't take the hood out of people. I don't care what their credentials are. Like I said, I know plenty of educated hood rats. That's just what it is. So then Kima is scared the hell out of him because you know he not used to assertive women. So he was looking at Simone like, are y'all all right? Do I need to run up out of here? And Simone talks to Kima and pretty much says that Heavenly takes everything too far. And she does. We all know that. We all know that. And even Phaedra, child, I actually agree with Phaedra on something. She said that Heavenly is Jackie's mouthpiece and does Jackie's dirty work. It is so obvious at this point that that is Heavenly's position besides being an ignorant ass fool. That is her position is to speak up for Jackie. So next we have Curtis and he pretty much says, look, We got other things to worry about. Jack and I have other things to worry about. We're not even thinking about what happened six or seven years ago. He said, I don't even remember how long ago it was. Because you're the one who did the cheating. Okay. I bet you Jackie's anal ass, Jackie's controlling ass, remembers your exact GPS location, where you was at, what hotel room, what clothes you had on, what clothes she had on. Because it is clear that she is not over it. Okay, she's not. So you may be over it. 
but she's not, okay? And I think Dr. Jackie, Jackie needs to actually have some counseling, some therapy. I don't know if she does. The vibes tell me, though, that she does not, but hey, you never know. Or if she does go to therapy, she's going to therapy to pretty much control the therapist and not actually get the help that she needs. So then Eugene says, well, look, if, if the location is not the issue for this vacation, then is the problem the people that are on the vacation? And then Dr. Jackie says, if everyone could stop being selfish, then they can understand this is not about them. It's not about y'all. And I'm like, Jackie, of all people saying, if everyone can stop being selfish, you really said that? You? So, child, sweetie, baby, that Texas heat was rising. And sweetie said, Curtis, your wife made fun about my situation. And she was like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, because, of course, Toya and Alicia was trying to stop her. She said, no, I'm about to speak my effing mind because no one cared about how I felt. And then, of course, of course, Dr. Jackie being condescending, like, speak your mind, baby girl, like trying to be condescending, like she trying to sun her. And, of course, Sweet Tea said, you mentioned that the woman from the hotel was coming to my bachelorette party. Why should I sympathize with you? And of course, Jackie continues to be condescending. Next thing you know, Sweet Tea is like, F you, bitch. <laughs> Baby, Sweet Tea's bottom lip got heavy as hell. <laughs> oh my gosh, like she... I'm sorry, I laughed so hard when she went off like that. I was just like, damn, like, oh, you can tell when Sweet Tea is over it, when that bottom lip get bigger. That's when you know she is fed up, honey. It's like that bottom lip start having its own heartbeat. It was pulsating. It was like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, oh, go, okay, it's, it's going down, it's going down. So at that point, Phaedra was like, what the heck? Like, she old enough to be your mama. Now, here's my thing. You guys have heard me on my channel say, you got to be respectful. Of course, I was raised that way to be respectful of your elders. But some elders truly feel like they can say whatever and do whatever, and you should respect them because they're old enough to be your mother or your father. And at a certain point, you try to be respectful, but you get fed up because at a certain point you are grown. You're no longer 18, 19, 20. If you are grown paying your own bills and all of that stuff, like, and we've seen that they've constantly come for sweet tea. They're constantly coming for her. She was at her breaking point. She was at her breaking point. And at that point, I don't blame her. Because Jackie was still being condescending after she said F you bitch to Jackie. Jackie says, I'ma handle baby girl later. Excuse me? Handle? Who the hell you handling? Even Sweet Tea was like, Oh, you're gonna talk to me? And Jackie was like, No, handle, because you need to be handled. Ooh. Now, the interesting thing is on the internet, I'm seeing people saying that Sweet Tea was wrong in her delivery. I am so sick of the double standard BS. Is Dr. Heavenly ever wrong for all of the B's and the f bombs she dropped? What about Simone? Are they ever wrong or because their doctors have money and been on the show for so long, y'all just give them a pass? Meanwhile, Sweet Tea has to act accordingly. Get the hell up out of here. I don't blame Sweet Tea for her speaking her mind at that point. I don't. I do not whatsoever. She was fed up. She may have been a little drunk. I don't know. I'm going to just say allegedly, but she did have that punch. She did have that punch. So maybe at that point, she had a little liquid courage to speak her mind. All right. So. We see Sweet Tea with Dr. G crying and she just says she can only take so much. She's tired of being sweet and nice and she is over it. 
And, you know, but my thing is this. She mentions in her confessional the age difference again. Sweet Tea, you married a man that is 20 plus years older than you. You're going to be around people his age. I don't think it's an age issue. I think it's a respect issue. And they feel like because of their age and their credentials, they don't have to respect you. And that's what it is. But I honestly think Sweet Tea is very entertaining for this show. I think we need that, you know, mix up because I truly feel like having the doctors, Dr. Jackie, Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Simone, you need someone like Sweet Tea that she can kind of switch things up. You know what I mean? Like she, I think she does have an education, but sometimes you don't want to pull out your dictionary and, and up your vocabulary. Sometimes it's just better off to say F you bitch and keep it moving. And I like sweet tea for that. Like I don't need to sit up there and show my credentials. I'm going to just let you know, don't play with me and respect me because I'm a freaking adult just like you. So with that being said, Heavenly next gives her fake apology for going too far when the cameras are on to, on to Dr. Simone and she claims her feelings were hurt too. And I'm like, you narcissistic ass, like, uh, how were your feelings hurt Heavenly? How? Child, it's all about Heavenly, ain't it? So then she claims that Dr. Jackie told her that, you know, she doesn't have to always defend her. But I'm like, yeah, that's true. But Jackie doesn't also stop Heavenly either when she goes in that way. So I don't know. But later, Sweet Tea apologizes to Jackie. But of course, Jackie plays victim saying that, you know, the fact that you dropped the F bomb and the B bomb and pretty much in her very passive aggressive way says, that she's really not going to forgive her and she's not going to fool with her. And Heavenly saw it and even Simone saw it and Toya saw it. And then Sweet Tea has the audacity to act Heavenly of all people. She acts Heavenly of all people. She says, you think she forgave me? Heavenly's like, no. Why do you care? It's like Sweet Tea, I think, is fed up, but she really wants approval from these women. F them. I would have preferred that she doubled down, tripled down and said, I called you a bitch because you're acting like a bitch. So that's just what it is, bitch. That's what I would have preferred her to say. Don't sit up there and apologize to her because she damn sure wouldn't apologize to you. Remember, Buffy? That's all I'm saying. Hell, at least she didn't call her an old bitch. Now that would have been an insult. Like, okay, but I'm sure this is not the first time Dr. Jackie being called a bitch. She give bitch vibes. It is what it is. Like, I would have never been called the, or I think you using that, that language. Child, you literally on national TV call someone infertile. Like, and you're a doctor. So it's like, you are worried about somebody dropping F-bombs and Bs? Like, get up out of here. So with that being said, you guys, that is my review on Married to Medicine, season 10, episode 12. I give it a, I give it a B minus. It was entertaining. I was able to watch it, but the only part, that, of course, that was really entertaining was Sweet Tea going off the way that she did. Child, when she said that and that lip went low, I said, "Up, oh, it's about to go down." So, what do you guys think about this episode? Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.